Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos, and today we're looking at visual domain and range. Visual domain and range. So what we want to do is take a look at the domain and the range and write out the interval notation uh, from a graph. So here's a couple examples of domain and range. See here, these are both the same graph, but they're talking about two different things. So here in the blue one, you got domain, which is going from left to right. Okay, that's the domain, that's the X values. And then over here in the red, you got the range going from the lowest to the highest, the Y. That is the Y values there, okay? So depending on what the question is asking, you're going to look for either the domain or the range. So here it says determine the domain on the following graph. So you have the graph. So since it's asking for the domain, we want to go for uh, the farthest to the left to the farthest to the right. And then we're going to write the interval notation on that. Okay, here we've got negative 11 to positive 10 on the x-axis and notice how the negative 11 because you got a filled in circle it's got a bracket and the 10 open circle here is parentheses so that's your answer okay on this one it says determine the range of the following graph so the range is going to be from the lowest point which is right here which is 1 to the highest point which is right here which is seven and you don't have to pay attention to the end dots we know that the lowest point is including the five uh, including the one here and including the seven so we're just going to write uh, from the lowest to the highest one to seven actually that should be one to seven let me fix that one to seven and put it in brackets range let's look at a few more all right so this one is determining the domain so we'll go to the farthest to the left which is negative 11 farthest to the right which is positive 11 and we put that the first one in parentheses and the one right here in a bracket All right, here it's another one that says domain. So we'll go to the farthest to the left, which is negative 8, farthest to the right, which is 4, and put both of those in brackets because the dots are filled in. All right, one more example here. This is another range one. So we're going to go as low as we can, negative 7, so as high as we can, positive 8, and put that in. Negative 7 to 8, and put them both in brackets. Now, a quick little reminder. If the highest point was, let's say, this open circle, and but it was up here with an open circle, then you would not put that in bracket. But when you go up and go to the line and then come down, you would include that. So that's why it's in brackets. And that is visual domain and range. In a future video, I'm going to do finding, increasing or decreasing domains and finding positive or negative domains. But for now, thank you for checking out Mr. Webb's videos. Have a nice day.